In computing, virtual memory is a memory management technique that is implemented using both hardware and software. It maps memory addresses used by a program, called virtual addresses, into physical addresses in computer memory. Main storage as seen by a process or task appears as a contiguous address space or collection of contiguous segments. The operating system manages virtual address spaces and the assignment of real memory to virtual memory. Address translation hardware in the CPU, often referred to as a memory management unit or MMU, automatically translates virtual addresses to physical addresses. Software within the operating system may extend these capabilities to provide a virtual address space that can exceed the capacity of real memory and thus reference more memory than is physically present in the computer. The primary benefits of virtual memory include freeing applications from having to manage a shared memory space, increased security due to memory isolation, and being able to conceptually use more memory than might be physically available, using the technique of paging. Properties Virtual memory makes application programming easier by hiding fragmentation of physical memory. By delegating to the kernel the burden of managing the memory hierarchy. And, when each process is run in its own dedicated address space, by obviating the need to relocate program code or to access memory with relative addressing. Memory virtualization can be considered a generalization of the concept of virtual memory. Usage Virtual memory is an integral part of a modern computer architecture. Implementations require hardware support, typically in the form of a memory management unit built into the CPU. While not necessary, emulators and virtual machines can employ hardware support to increase performance of their virtual memory implementations. Consequently, older operating systems, such as those for the mainframes of the 1960s, and those for personal computers of the early to mid-1980s, generally have no virtual memory functionality, though notable exceptions for mainframes of the 1960s include, the Atlas Supervisor for the Atlas, MCP for the Burroughs B5000, MTS, TSS-360 and CPCMS for the IBM System-360 Model 67, Multics for the GE645 the time-sharing operating system for the RCA Spectra 70-46, the Apple Lisa is an example of a personal computer of the 1980s that features virtual memory. Most modern operating systems that support virtual memory also run each process in its own dedicated address space. Each program thus appears to have sole access to the virtual memory. However, some older operating systems and even modern ones are single address space operating systems that run all processes in a single address space composed of virtualized memory. Embedded systems and other special purpose computer systems that require very fast and or very consistent response times may opt not to use virtual memory due to decreased determinism. Virtual memory systems trigger unpredictable traps that may produce unwanted jitter during I.O. operations. This is because embedded hardware costs are often kept low by implementing all such operations with software rather than with dedicated hardware. History In the 1940s and 1950s, all larger programs had to contain logic for managing primary and secondary storage, such as overlaying. Virtual memory was therefore introduced not only to extend primary memory, but to make such an extension as easy as possible for programmers to use. To allow for multi-programming and multitasking, many early systems divided memory between multiple programs without virtual memory, such as early models of the PDP-10 via registers. The concept of virtual memory was first developed by German physicist Fritz Rudolf Gar one quarter NTSCH at the Technische Universite Currency T Berlin in 1956 in his doctoral thesis. Logical design of a digital computer with multiple asynchronous rotating drums and automatic high-speed memory operation. It described a machine with six 100-word blocks of primary core memory and an address space of 1,100-word blocks, with hardware automatically moving blocks between primary memory and secondary drum memory. Paging was first implemented at the University of Manchester as a way to extend the Atlas computer's working memory by combining its 16,000 words of primary core memory with an additional 96,000 words of secondary drum memory. 
The first atlas was commissioned in 1962 but working prototypes of paging had been developed by 1959. In 1961, the Burroughs Corporation independently released the first commercial computer with virtual memory, the B5000, with segmentation rather than paging. Before virtual memory could be implemented in mainstream operating systems, many problems had to be addressed. Dynamic address translation required expensive and difficult to build specialized hardware. Initial implementation slowed down access to memory slightly. There were worries that new system-wide algorithms utilizing secondary storage would be less effective than previously used application-specific algorithms. By 1969, the debate over virtual memory for commercial computers was over. An IBM research team led by David Sayre showed that their virtual memory overlay system consistently worked better than the best manually controlled systems. The first minicomputer to introduce virtual memory was the Norwegian NORD-1. During the 1970s, other minicomputers implemented virtual memory, notably BAX models running VMS. Virtual memory was introduced to the x86 architecture with the protected mode of the Intel 80286 processor, but its segment swapping technique scaled poorly to larger segment sizes. The Intel 80386 introduced paging support underneath the existing segmentation layer, enabling the page fault exception to chain with other exceptions without double fault. However, loading segment descriptors was an expensive operation causing operating system designers to rely strictly on paging rather than a combination of paging and segmentation. Paged virtual memory, nearly all implementations of virtual memory divide a virtual address space into pages, blocks of contiguous virtual memory addresses. Pages are usually at least 4 kilobytes in size. Systems with large virtual address ranges or amounts of real memory generally use larger page sizes. Page tables, Page tables are used to translate the virtual addresses seen by the application into physical addresses used by the hardware to process instructions. Such hardware that handles this specific translation is often known as the memory management unit. Each entry in the page table holds a flag indicating whether the corresponding page is in real memory or not. If it is in real memory, the page table entry will contain the real memory address at which the page is stored. When a reference is made to a page by the hardware, if the page table entry for the page indicates that it is not currently in real memory, the hardware raises a page fault exception, invoking the paging supervisor component of the operating system. Systems can have one page table for the whole system, separate page tables for each application and segment, a tree of page tables for large segments or some combination of these. If there is only one page table, Different applications running at the same time use different parts of a single range of virtual addresses. If there are multiple page or segment tables, there are multiple virtual address spaces and concurrent applications with separate page tables redirect to different real addresses. Paging Supervisor – This part of the operating system creates and manages page tables. If the hardware raises a page fault exception, the paging supervisor accesses secondary storage returns the page that is the virtual address that resulted in the page fault, updates the page tables to reflect the physical location of the virtual address and tells the translation mechanism to restart the request. When all physical memory is already in use, the paging supervisor must free a page in primary storage to hold the swapped in page. The supervisor uses one of a variety of page replacement algorithms such as least recently used to determine which page to free. Pin pages, operating systems have memory areas that are pinned. Other terms used are locked, fixed, or wired pages. For example, interrupt mechanisms rely on an array of pointers to their handlers, such as I.O. completion and page fault. If the pages containing these pointers or the code that they invoke were pageable, interrupt handling would become far more complex and time-consuming, particularly in the case of page fault interruptions. Hence, some part of the page table structures is not pageable. Some pages may be pinned for short periods of time, others may be pinned for long periods of time, and still others may need to be permanently pinned. For example, 
the paging supervisor code and drivers for secondary storage devices on which pages reside must be permanently pinned, as otherwise paging wouldn't even work because the necessary code wouldn't be available. Timing-dependent components may be pinned to avoid variable paging delays. Data buffers that are accessed directly by peripheral devices that use direct memory access or I.O. channels must reside in pinned pages while the I.O. operation is in progress because such devices and the buses to which they are attached expect to find data buffers located at physical memory addresses. Regardless of whether the bus has a memory management unit for I.O., Transfers cannot be stopped if a page fault occurs and then restarted when the page fault has been processed. In IBM's operating systems for system 370 and successor systems, the term is fixed, and such pages may be long-term fixed, or may be short-term fixed, or may be unfixed. System control structures are often long-term fixed whereas I.O. buffers are usually short-term fixed. Indeed, the OS has a special facility for fast fixing these short-term fixed data buffers. Additionally, the OS has yet another facility for converting an application from being unfixed to being unswappable for an indefinite period, possibly for days, months or even years. However, this facility implicitly requires that the application first be swapped out, possibly from preferred memory, or a mixture of preferred and non-preferred memory and second be swapped into preferred memory where it resides for the duration, however long that might be. This utilizes a supervisor call instruction, sys event transwap, and is usually invoked by the application itself, or by the application's name being registered in a special table, the program properties table. Multics use the term wired. Open VMS and Windows refer to pages temporarily made non pageable as locked, and simply non pageable for those that are never pageable. Virtual real operation, in OS VS1 and similar OSes, some parts of system's memory are managed in virtual real mode, called V equals R. In this mode every virtual address corresponds to the same real address. This mode is used for interrupt mechanisms, for the paging supervisor and page tables in older systems, and for application programs using non-standard I.O. management. For example, IBM ZOS has three modes. Thrashing, when paging and page stealing are used, a problem called thrashing can occur, in which the computer spends an unsuitably large amount of time transferring pages to and from a backing store, hence slowing down useful work. The phenomena is associated with the concept of a working set which is the minimum set of pages that should be in memory in order for useful progress to be made in a task. Thrashing occurs when there is insufficient memory available to store the working sets of all active programs. Adding real memory is the simplest response, but improving application design, scheduling, and memory usage can help. Another solution is to reduce the number of active tasks on the system. This reduces demand on real memory by swapping out the entire working set of one or more processes. Segmented virtual memory, some systems, such as the Burroughs B5500, use segmentation instead of paging, dividing virtual address spaces into variable length segments. A virtual address here consists of a segment number and an offset within the segment. The Intel 80286 supports a similar segmentation scheme as an option, but it is rarely used. Segmentation and paging can be used together by dividing each segment into pages. Systems with this memory structure, such as Multics and IBM System 38, are usually paging predominant, segmentation providing memory protection. In the Intel 80386 and later IA32 processors, the segments reside in a 32 bit linear, paged address space. Segments can be moved in and out of that space. Pages that can page in and out of main memory, providing two levels of virtual memory. Few if any operating systems do so, instead using only paging. Early non-hardware assisted x86 virtualization solutions combined paging and segmentation because x86 paging offers only two protection domains whereas a VMM slash guest OS slash guest application stack needs three. The difference between paging and segmentation systems is not only about memory division. Segmentation is visible to user processes as part of memory model semantics. Hence, 
instead of memory that looks like a single large space, it is structured into multiple spaces. This difference has important consequences. A segment is not a page with variable length or a simple way to lengthen the address space. Segmentation that can provide a single level memory model in which there is no differentiation between process memory and file system consists of only a list of segments mapped into the process's potential address space. This is not the same as the mechanisms provided by calls such as MAP and Win32's MAP view of file, because inter-file pointers do not work when mapping files into semi-arbitrary places. In Multics, a file is mapped into a segment in the address space, so files are always mapped at a segment boundary. A file's linkage section can contain pointers for which an attempt to load the pointer into a register or make an indirect reference through it causes a trap. The unresolved pointer contains an indication of the name of the segment to which the pointer refers and an offset within the segment. The handler for the trap maps the segment into the address space, puts the segment number into the pointer, changes the tag field in the pointer so that it no longer causes a trap, and returns to the code where the trap occurred, re-executing the instruction that caused the trap. This eliminates the need for a linker completely and works when different processes map the same file into different places in their private address spaces. See also, computer memory, memory address, address space, virtual address space, CPU design, page, page table, paging, working set, memory management unit, cache algorithms, page replacement algorithm, segmentation, system slash 38. Memory management, memory allocation, protected mode, an x86 mode that allows for virtual memory. CUDA pinned memory, further reading, Hennessy, John L. and Patterson, David A. Computer architecture, a quantitative approach, notes. References This article is based on material taken from the Free Online Dictionary of Computing prior to November 1, 2008 and incorporated under the relicensing terms of the GFDL, version 1.3 or later. External links, Operating Systems, Three Easy Pieces, by Ramsey H. R. Pacey Dusso and Andrea C. R. Pacey Dusso. R. Pacey Dusso Books, 2014. Relevant Chapters Address Spaces Address Translation Segmentation Introduction to Paging TLBs Advanced Page Table Swapping, Mechanisms Swapping, Policies, Time Sharing Supervisor Programs by Michael T. Alexander in Advanced Topics in Systems Programming, University of Michigan Engineering Summer Conference 1970, compares the scheduling and resource allocation approaches, including virtual memory and paging, used in full mainframe operating systems. CP67, TSS-360, MTS, and Multics. Linuxum, Linux Memory Management. Birth of Linux Kernel, Mailing List Discussion. The Virtual Memory Manager in Windows NT, Randy Kath, Microsoft Developer Network Technology Group, December 12, 1992 at the Wayback Machine.